All right. So I'm um, pretty happy to be here in North Fork, not just because I uh, live here, not because North Fork is a great community to be in, but really because this is where it starts. You know, this is where good ideas start. They start with community coming together and bringing forth ideas. And so I'm really grateful that all of you are out here today um, just to listen to what we have to say. So thank you all for being here. Uh, thank you to Kathy and Mike and Wade for helping put all this on. Thank you to the boosters for everything you do for the community of North Fork. Um, I want to take some time and talk about a few of the priorities that I have. But before I do, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about who I am, uh, how I came to be here, and what I'm all about. So I was born and raised over in the Oakhurst area, uh, went to uh, Yosemite Unified, uh, worked my way through college where I received degrees in managerial economics as well as business administration. After college, got a great job working a, as a regional manager for uh, a restaurant chain. Um, but about 10 years ago, I got a call from my parents and what they let me know was they needed some help with their family business. So it was at that time I decided to move home, get involved with my family's insurance brokerage, which was a great opportunity for me to really apply some of the skills, some of the knowledge, the things I learned in college in a real business environment. So great opportunity for me. But beyond that, it provided me with an opportunity to really get to know my community, to really get involved with the community and understand the needs there in, in the Oakhurst area. So um, had the opportunity to serve as board president for the uh, Oakhurst area uh, Boys and Girls Club, as well as president of the uh, area community center. Um, worked with the MD22A sewer advisory group for a, a time where I served as chair and was able to really get my first uh, opportunity to advocate for the needs of residents in the area to county staff. I was also very involved with the Eastern Madera County Foundation, an organization that since starting work at the county, I was able to help revitalize and we were putting forth some great projects like the uh, North Fork Trail System that we're working on with Mike, as well as the Oakers River Parkway Trail, which will help provide walkability throughout the Oakers area really work on allowing tourists to come visit, to come visit our uh, different community infrastructure like the uh, Fresno Flats Historical Society as well as these Oakers Community Park, Boys and Girls Club. So walkability is a huge issue uh, in the Oakers area as a lot of people know. So at a certain point, working with my parents, I, I realized what I really wanted to do. You know, I was one of those kids growing up was a little unsure what I wanted to do with my life, but at a certain point I realized that what was important to me was community. And so I wanted to be involved in my community. And so when an opportunity arose to apply for a position at Madera County to, to work as district chief of staff for Madera County for District 5, I threw my name in the hat and I was fortunate enough to be selected to serve in that capacity. So since working at the county, I've, I've had the opportunity to learn a lot about what the county does, how their operations work, what they do well, but most importantly, what they don't do well. And so I can tell you firsthand that Madera County needs to do a better job of working transparently with residents in the area. Because as I said when I started this talk, that's where real solutions occur. When the county works transparently with residents and we can build solutions that work for communities like North Fork, that's when we're working successfully. And so I wanna dive into those three priorities that I referenced earlier. And so that is fire. Bo, you hit it right on. You're talking about fire. I also wanna talk about local control. And lastly, I wanna talk about this idea of trust. And so, we here in North Fork, we know that it's not if fire comes, it's when fire comes. So Madera County needs to do a better job of working proactively to reduce the risk of catastrophic wildfire in our communities. And so for me, we do that in a couple of ways. One is we need to do a better job of supporting our emergency responders. And two, we need to do a better job of managing our public and private lands. 
So reducing fuel loads in the area, right? And so for me, supporting our emergency responders means that they have the right equipment, they have the right tools, they have the right facilities, and most importantly, they have the right staffing to get the job done right. But that's not enough. They need to be able to do the job safely. And part of doing the job safely for our, our Cal Fire folks, for our county fire folks, means that we work on what we have to do to reduce fuel loads in the area. So like I said, the other component there is the management of our public and private lands. And so I feel that there's no better way to get this done than working at a local level with our community partners that are already doing the work. Our folks over in the mill site at Yosemite Sequoia or CNDC are doing a fantastic job of working with the Sierra National Forest. They have what's called a master stewardship agreement so they can go on public lands and conduct fuel reduction efforts. These are the kind of uh, organizations that we have to work with in order to reduce fuel loads in the area. So as your supervisor, I will make it a priority to continue redirecting resources from the county to these local organizations because that's how we have local control over what's going on. We don't need to check boxes in Madera on the fourth floor. We don't need to check boxes in Sacramento. We don't need to check boxes in Washington, D.C. We need to do the work here in North Fork. And that's what these organizations are able to do. So I want to go to that second, that second item, which is local control. And so I referenced earlier that I got my start advocating for the needs of residents in the area at the MD-22A Sewer Advisory Group. And that's where I learned the importance of transparency and what it means for the county to work with the community on solutions that work. That's where I learned the importance of the end user being involved in the process, the service, and, and the maintenance of facilities. And so as your supervisor, it's my pledge to you that county staff will work transparently with you on services that are provided to you. And so we have to do this in order to be successful. And that's why I'm here, because I'm willing to put in the work and I'm willing to get it done. So I, I want to move on to our next point, which is trust. And so for me, in the 2016 election, if there was nothing else I learned. It was that residents, voters are tired of politicians. We're tired of lip service. We're tired of promises that can't be kept, right? So for me, what is trust? Trust is hard work. Trust is a track record of service to your community. Trust is, I'm losing my notes, I apologize. Uh, trust trust is, is about working in the community and ensuring that people know what you're all about. And so that's why I'm here. And so I believe that there's no candidate up here that has more experience working for the community, advocating for the community's needs, really getting to know what's going on in me. And so when you're filling out your ballot in the next several weeks, I hope that you'll trust in me and trust that I have your best interest at heart. And so I really like to hear some questions. I hope there's a full bag there, Wade. I'm sure there is. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and yield the rest of my time. First question is, what are your thoughts about tourism? One, and two, what would you change? So, great question. Um, <laughs> Rhonda, thank you. And so, tourism is obviously the lifeblood um, of our economy up in Eastern Madera County. Without tourism, our businesses cannot operate. Without our businesses, you know, we would ultimately fail. So, we have over a million cars a year going through the South Gate of Yosemite. And as Bo referenced, we need to get figure out ways to get these people to stop, stay, spend their money, so that way our economy can flourish. As I referenced, we're working with nonprofits so that way we can help improve community infrastructure like the Overfirst River Parkway Trail. So through the Eastern Madera County Foundation, a nonprofit.